Okay, this whole right arm needs to be rebuilt, as you can see. Um, this nut has been bearing itself, boring itself into that cylinder, and it looks like. Let's see. Show me the. Show this me is the, loose right here. Yeah, this is this the is bushing broken has come off. out of that. Okay, that bushing's out of there. Slipped out. Yeah, lift it all the way up. Um, let's see. Twist it that way laterally. There. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's not where it is. Where? Oh, Christ. Oh, here it is right here. This is what I wanted to get a picture of. Get over there. Where it was. Right there. See this? Somebody is. I guess stuck something in here, and this doesn't look original either. Mm -hmm. So this whole thing here has been jury rigged, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's not doing nothing but falling See, apart. See, there was a set screw that went in there that's gone. Uh huh. There's still one in that side. Yeah, that's that's a mess. So. And this is worn out right here. Where? This uh, heim joint here. See the slack in it there? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's this. All of this is shot. It needs to be fixed. One half or both halves. And then lift it all the way up. This this cylinder's falling apart down here. It's all, uh, that, so this whole arm is really shot. It needs to be taken off at this bolt right here. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wonder how hard that's going to be because this is because these hoses go through there. Well, this will come off. And this will come off. That will get us access to the we have to, and then you have to pull these hoses off. I imagine. Mm -hmm. I would think. In order to, in order to remove this, unless we can just pull this out of the way and, and repair it without pulling the hoses off. Well, we can take this elbow thing off and see what we can do with this. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So this arm is really beat up. It's probably beat up by having the adjustments too fast, among other things. Okay. Ooh, there's. This piece right here, that's uh -huh. all slack. Just uh -huh. take your hand and wiggle that back and forth, see? Let me get in there and look at that. See how wiggly the part below your hand is? That bar that's coming out that holds the cylinder right here? Yeah, yeah. And, what, and where loose. is that Where is that slop coming from? Well, I think this, this shaft here is loose in that, for one thing. Uh huh. Most of that's in that right there, I think. Uh -huh. Oh, and look, see, there's nothing yeah. holding that on. Yeah, the bushings are probably slid out on that too. Well, yeah, I don't even see bushings, but it's the bolt that was on there or whatever it is that holds that to the bottom is gone. Uh -huh. I guess it's another set, could be another set collar. We'll is this see. supposed to turn like this? Is that normal? Uh, For the head cylinder? Yeah. Kind of looks like it's designed to pivot there, so. Yeah, that's that's normal there to so that because it to keep it in alignment as it turns. I think mm -hmm. we can double check that on my character. That looks reasonable. Mm -hmm. Up here looks reasonably tight. That that might be a little loose, but not real bad. Yeah, no, that that should. I think that's within spec there. It's not there. jingly jangly loose. Yeah. How do the mechanisms in the head look? I don't feel anything too ridiculous there. Yeah, we may have some problems with a cylinder. Like these cylinders, like this this we doesn't feel right. This isn't right here. See, there's no spring in there. Yeah. So these, probably these air cylinders here will have to be replaced. There's no spring in any mm -hmm. in, in this one anyway. Do they have internal coil springs? Yeah, okay. both of these should. Like this one here, probably, I think this one probably works. Weren't you getting one right eye but no left eye movement in yeah. this one? Yeah, because see, like you shouldn't be able to do that at all. Yeah. Because okay. they should be sprung uh -huh. to the to the left. Uh -huh. um, okay, let me let me see. Uh, we, we also noted that the body is no longer mounted. I think it's just missing a bunch of bolts. Uh, well, I see this threaded rod here. Oh, yeah, the threaded rods were disconnected and screwed themselves, I think. Some of them. I was yeah. noticing that the other day. 
Yeah, the threaded rods either are unscrewed or broken. We, we won't know which till we can get in there and look in the end of the hole. Uh huh. How would those unscrew themselves though? Ah. Oh. How would they be able to turn? I don't know, but there's some there's some wear on those on the end of those. Maybe they're just broke off. Yeah, could they have just broken off from having this thing? Because if they go too fast with this, it puts shock on everything. If they have those adjustments wide open. Should I go ahead and? And wasn't there? Uh, move the guitar. Let me see the okay. the guitar where that's broken. See, it's rubbing against. See, that's, that shouldn't be moving at all. That's got way too much slack. You see, it's it's rubbing against this hose down mm -hmm. in here. I'm thinking that's just because whatever its mounting system is, is all loose. Yeah. that's See, it's got those heavy pillow blocks that's going mm -hmm. through. That's no longer keeping it straight. Yeah. It's like whatever they were attached to was either come loose or broken. Yeah. This, the body shell is going to have to come off pretty soon, right? Right. And and it's, it's only being held probably like right here and, and here. It, yeah it was supposed to be held by these mm -hmm. by these rods yeah you know that screw there was supposed to hold it on that's probably in the process of fatiguing this plastic right here yeah because it's wiggling all the time uh-huh fiberglass yeah so now this the, the character will work without this body mm -hmm. so when, when, I guess we could take the body off and see what problems we have with the body mounts at the same time that's nut and bolt so let me get, dig that out of my box here okay we can see it a lot better, I think, once that's off. 